Hi, I'm Billy Anders, the Group Program Manager for Wireless and Networking Services in Windows. Today I want to demonstrate some of the ways in which Windows 8 is designed with mobility in mind. I'd like to show you some of the advances we've made in the fundamentals for Windows 8 mobility. This first scenario I'm going to show you is Instant Reconnect. Here you see I'm connected to Work Router, that's the name of the wireless network, and I'm going to go into Desktop and run a very simple script that we have that simply puts the machine into standby and then I'll resume it. Great, now the machine's in standby. So we're simulating going between two different networks and so we've taken down the work router network and we brought up the home network. This simply simulates going between two different networks. Next I'm going to resume the machine. And great, you see that we're instantly connected and we've even brought up the Bing homepage. Now I'm going to show you the Windows Connection Manager and here you can see we are indeed connected to a different network, in this case, Home Router. I'd like to show you the Hotspot Connection Experience. So here I'm going to click on Contoso Cafe. And as you see, Windows 8 notices that this hotspot is using a captive portal. And here, I'll just go ahead and enter my credentials. And click Login. And now I'm connected. So no browser prompt, not having to enter any credentials inside of a web page. We're just connected and that profile is saved. Next, I'd like to show some of the enhancements we've made for mobile broadband. Here I have a mobile broadband dongle that's compliant with our new Windows 8 class driver. So I've just inserted the dongle into my PC and it's going to take a few seconds for the mobile broadband class driver to get loaded and for us to get connected for the first time. So now you can see the interface is coming up. Now you can see that the SIM is understood to be at and SIM, and we are connecting for the first time. And soon you'll see we're connected. So great, so now you see that the SIM was recognized as at and and we automatically connected. One thing you may have noticed here is that there were no additional drivers downloaded, no additional connection manager needed. We just got connected to at and also like to show you here is the AT&T account experience. So I'm going to go ahead and click on view my account. And great, we're inside of the AT&T connection experience for account management. Great, now I'm going to show an internally developed application we have that uses our cost aware APIs. And this application is simply pulling down images from the Flickr site but notice that the images are low quality. And the reason these images are low quality is because this application is aware of the fact that it's on a mobile broadband network and these networks generally have cost associated. So they're pulling down the lower resolution photos which are saving data. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. As you can see, home router here. And I'm going to set connect automatically and connect. Great. Now I'm going to open up our internal application. Since this application is adaptive and was written with our cost-aware APIs, we're now seeing higher quality images. I'm disconnecting from Wi-Fi, and here Windows 8 automatically connects us to mobile broadband. Windows 8 also shows us at a glance our current data usage for each network. And if you refer to our blog posts, you'll notice that we talk about that Windows is aware of the costs associated with the network and Windows Update will defer non-critical updates for a later time and when you're connected to Wi-Fi. But if you wanted more information about particular applications on your system and how they're using your network, here we have Windows Task Manager. And if you go over to the App History tab of Task Manager, you can easily see how much data each individual application has consumed of that network. And we also break out the metered network so you can see how much it's consumed of your more costly 
mobile broadband networks. I've just shown you a few of the ways in which we've architected Windows 8 for mobility with new and enhanced Wi-Fi and mobile broadband experiences. We look forward to you experiencing Windows 8 and these new features for yourself.